From the Farm Bill to environmental regulation, when we ask producers about the value of NCBA, one of the answers they give is the organization's efforts in Washington on behalf of the cattle industry. Russell Nemitz joins us once again with an update on a wide range of policy issues that could impact U.S. beef producers. Certainly a lot of time and energy has gone into getting a new farm bill ready for America's farmers and ranchers. And for agricultural organizations like the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, they've been working with members of Congress like North Carolina Congressman and House Agriculture Committee member David Rouser on making sure the new farm bill includes something for livestock producers, more specifically cattlemen and cattlewomen. Congressman, thank you for being with us here on Cattlemen to Cattlemen and talk a little bit about some of the highlights for U.S. livestock producers in this new farm bill. Well, first, it's uh, great to be with you. And let me say at the outset, uh, I think that uh, if you have a good agriculture policy in place where you can feed not only the United States of America, but the rest of the world, uh, that's critically, critically important, uh, not only for the American economy, but for national security purposes as well. I feel the same way about energy production. I feel the same way about our infrastructure, making sure you can get products from point A to point B in a timely, effective, and efficient manner. Uh, so agriculture, energy, and infrastructure, I think, are really critical. If you have all the bases covered there, you have everything that you need to make America exceptionally prosperous here at home, uh, which enables us to be very, very strong abroad. So that's the big, uh, broad picture uh, that I like to talk about uh, these issues uh, under. Uh, specific to livestock and, and the farm bill, uh, you know, one of the things I've always loved about the livestock uh, producers is uh, typically when a farm bill comes around, they say, keep us as far away from it as possible. We don't want any, anything to do with the government, uh, which as a conservative, I have great appreciation for. Uh, but uh, animal uh, disease uh, protection is, is critically important. Obviously, there's concern about foot and mouth disease. Uh, we have been working hard to establish a uh, foot and mouth disease uh, uh, vaccine bank. Uh, uh, get that authorized with this uh, legislation. And of course, uh, the challenge that you always have, uh, you got to find the money. Uh, as one of my colleagues once said, uh, he said a vision uh, without funding is nothing more than a hallucination. And uh, that's, that, that's really, really true. So uh, we've worked hard to get as much money uh, uh, um, put in place uh, for this uh, uh, forthcoming uh, vaccine bank. And of course, uh, uh, we got a lot more work to do uh, but we at least have the uh, camel's nose under the tent. Congressman Rouser, what about making sure the new farm bill has a strong conservation title in it as well for livestock producers? Well, conservation is in critically important. It's not only uh, important uh, for agriculture and conservation purposes, uh, but it's important, I think, in terms of building public support uh, for, for a farm bill. And uh, not everybody appreciates um, all the effort and the challenges that farmers face, uh, but they do appreciate a good, clean environment. And uh, uh, conservation title certainly helps on, on both fronts uh, in that regard. And uh, so we're, you know, trying to improve that title where we can. And uh, I think uh, folks are going to be pretty pleased with it. You know, members of uh, North Carolina's cattle industry just met with you, and one of the other topics brought up here in this meeting with you that is on their radar continues to be the importance of trade, whether it be here in North America with Canada and Mexico or maybe over in the Pacific Rim, another very important region. Yeah, well, trade is critical for agriculture. You know, much of what we produce uh, is shipped abroad, and that's a great thing. Uh, but you've got to have trade agreements that are fair. Uh, a lot of people talk about free trade, but it really needs to be fair trade. And there's a lot of countries out there that, uh, uh, where we can ne negotiate uh, better agreements. I th think this administration, the Trump administration, is, is committed to doing that. And I think they have a great appreciation for agriculture and agriculture's role in the American economy and, and its necessity for our uh, independence and, and security, energy security as well. I also just kind of wanted to wrap things up just asking, what's it mean to have on the ground farmers and ranchers, uh, like I just mentioned, those men and women that were just in here from the great state of North Carolina, meeting with you one-on-one -on -one when given the opportunity so you can hear from them about some of their concerns? Well, it's really important. Uh, every time I meet uh, with farmers and ranchers or, or any constituent for that matter, you always learn something a little new, no matter how much... Uh, uh, you know, may know about a uh, topic, and it certainly helps you to keep your uh, finger on the pulse of what's going on back home. 
A lot of these guys here that I met with today, I've known for a long, long time. Some of them are my neighbors, in fact. And uh, so it's always good to see them up here in Washington. Well, we appreciate you taking a little bit of time for us today on uh, NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen, sir. Oh, great to be with you. Again, we've had the pleasure of talking with North Carolina Congressman David Rouser.